programs. Come and take over everything that I had said. Get your new approach. Let there be a man or a woman be captured. Let there be a man to be captured. You captured Moses as he thought he was a pastor. Telling him to let go of his shoes because he's a holy ground. You got on Hosea. Take over me. In the name of Jesus. Give God a mighty hand clap. You can have your seats. If you have somewhere you're writing or documenting, we are going to do a lot of writing. If you have a Bible, you are going to open it up on a quick level. Because of the many things that I was supposed to speak and my time is first page, I allow the Lord that we start where he permits me. Praise our Lord. When we came to this place, when we came here, here on this, on this earth, we came from somewhere and then we came into the world. We are not going to exist eternally. We are going to get out and go back. We are going to go back. A man is made up of two things. There is the outward man and then there is the inward man. The inward man came from heaven and came into the world. When he came into the world, a body was formed for him. So this body, the one that was formed, that is the amount of years you're counting. The age that you have is not exactly what you are. The years that you're counting is not what you are. But those years your spirit all you the ones that you have spent in the body the one speaking to you I'm different from what is standing before you what is standing before you that is what my mother gave birth to. But the one speaking is the one what was born of God. We have two parents. There is my biological parents. And then there is the one that gives birth to the body. The body standing before me has spent 63 years Praise the Lord. What is standing before you? This is what was born of my mother. But the one speaking, that is what is born of God. Matthew 6 9. Our Father in heaven gives birth to me. I am the one in God's image. What my mother gives birth to is not the image of God. That is how he started. I told him to take it. If I get out of what was born of my mother, the mourners can give you a testimony. They testify while crying and asking, How have you gone? How have you gone? 
without being warned? How have you gone without being When you're not right here, how have you gone? And where have you gone? Where have you gone when we were poor? When you have been so far away? When you are not tithing? That is the gospel of the mourners. They get hold of the dead body. They touch the corpse. As they ask, how have you gone? The question, who has gone? And who is that person you're touching? As they are touching what was born of the mother. And yet what was born of the go what God has gone. Where it has gone. That is what we are talking about. The kingdom of God. How many have not understood? If you have not, when you have, not have you all understood? Clap your hands. John 663. The Bible says. The spirit brings life and the flesh is not beneficial the words that I speak is spirit and is what brings life if the spirit comes out this cannot speak what was born of my mother it cannot speak I did it as an example let me revisit it does someone have a bag around here if you have a bag raise up that bag raise it up do you all see the bag Take it, back. Take it back. Make sure you get it. We are speaking about the kingdom of God. Give us a testimony. Whose hand is that? Whose hand is that? It is mine. And then the other hand? It is also mine. Whose head is that? It is mine. Whose feet are these? They are mine. And then the chest. It is mine. How about the berry? It is mine. How about that bag? That bag is also mine. This lady is married. And the husband is watching as he's making the money. The people of this place think they always know her. But she wanted to emphasize that what is standing before us is none about her. She is not the hand, but the hand belongs to her. That means I, I thinking it is not her. But that is part of her. I, I also thought she was the left hand. She's like, I'm not the Na hand. But the hand belongs to me. She's lying. I thought she was the head. I are you the head? Naganeda. No way. But it is my head. And I, I thought she was the legs. Are you the legs? And she's the legs belong to me. Are you the chest? And she says, no. It belongs to me. Maybe you're the tummy. Are you the tummy? It is my tummy. That thing standing before me. She's none of my I got to know. Maybe she's in the bag. 
I asked her, are you inside no, the bag? No way. It belongs to me. And then I was confused. I want to ask you, where is she? Where is she? That is why God told Joe in 112 that everything that you have I give unto you but unto him never touch. Amen. Are we getting there? Let me go slowly. Religion put emphasis on this flesh. All those do it in churches and mosques. Attention The attention is on the flesh. And how they will be buried. If someone is buried, the church almost refused to come. It is really an abomination. They just dumped them in there. But those who have understood, who have come to learn, the most important is the one who is in the inside. The emphasis is given on the one who is living. When they live, where do they go to? Are we together? Are we on the same page? And some of them, if you tell them I'm born again, if you get born again, we are waiting for the burial. During the burial, they steal the corpse. They come ready with their. Amen. Amen. They come red with their pants up. Come to fight for the corpse. Whether you're born again or not. As long as they've come to bury you. I've come to warn you. That you're not what is being buried. You're different. You're very special. You're very different. John 6, 63. The spirit is what brings life. The body has nothing in it. The voice that you're hearing, that is the real me. When I come out, even if you allow it to stand up, it cannot speak. Because the one speaking is out. Give God a mighty hand clap. You religious person, if you emphasize on your body or corpse, also emphasize on her body. Together with a guy, all the actions that you do on the corpse. His property. Do not only wash the cups, but wash everything that belongs to her. I'm about to warn. Praise the Lord. Let me repeat this. My cups. I want it to be used more in preaching the gospel. I've heard about the evangelists. If it was not anything else, I want to stir up something that will contradict with the work of the world. I was about to say that they should have thrown my cups. Away. 
having a barren is around asking why they've thrown the corpse because what they've thrown away is useless our father went and we say our father went this corpse what the mother gave birth to we just buried so that it doesn't doesn't smell for us but I remember that the corpse does a lot of evangelism it is very expensive they put it in a coffin it has never been in very expensive coffin there is a man I told oh that coffin there is no good coffin every time I go to a good coffin I remember those words they buy the coffin a very nice coffin why? because the corpse is expensive the taxi they put it up they never sit or have it in their hands. If you carry your corpse in the taxi, they park aside and they say this is now very expensive. Taking it to Masaka, we need 400,000 to do what? Someone was 8,000. Now very costly. Very expensive. Who gave me the book? I don't remember so much. I was here with Pastor Precious given the book. But when you become a cop, they make the accuse. Those from Butaka said, This is what we are. From Mutanzike, this is what we are. Bring the buckets while I'm still alive. I need them while I'm still alive. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You can fall sick in hospital. In what for C? And they jeer you. They mock you. Who is that? Pastor Bonnie. He's in Fossi. Cancer again. They mock you. That is what they can do. But anytime you die, all the bubebele bring the money. The bussy people. You don't know where I reside. But on that day, why? Because I became a Became a Got into a better level. The programmer comes. That is the exit and the entry as you look at the corpse. Don't take long. Everyone has to look at the corpse. <laughs> I want to tell the evangelist I want five to six days before you bury me. No one here has a like I do. I think I will be the first. I'm talking about the organizers. <laughs> the organizers. You first go to my home in Namsera. And then the evangelist. Who knows how to explain the inner and outward man. Who says. Don't worry for this thing. Because he has left. Do not cry for, cry for yourselves. After that gospel, all these other people cannot fail to go to the Bring it here. Not to pray for me. Because I've already left. That is vanity prayer. Do not pray for the body. No way. And there is no prayer that goes where it has gone. Because the inner man. There is no prayer that takes them from heaven to hell. Or from hell. Taking to heaven. Get to understand that. So why do you bring the cops in church? Because the Mindset of all the shakes and everyone listening, they come hearing. Oh, so sorrowful. It's a pity. He was a joyful man. Oh, this place. 
So evangelists know that is a congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, the one is not dead. He's not the one. Born him second. He's not this one. That is his corpse. That is why you begin to move. After that, carry it. Take it to Kasubi at the headquarters. All them gather around. Evangelists come. Start the gospel. Carry it. Take it to Boise. Why are you taking it around? To spread the gospel. Because the corpse is very expensive. There's someone getting angry. Let me leave you alone. Just continue. But I'm leaving. <laughs> I also had black hair like you are. Mm. When you ask what happened, I also don't know. I can't explain that. I've seen people bald heads. Bold hands. And you ask them, Sir, what happened to your hair? I have no idea. Maybe, perhaps you left it in your bed. I've never seen my hair in the bed. What happened? I am leaving. Everyone of you is leaving. Let us prepare ourselves. Talk about the kingdom of God. Where we shall be for eternity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're living. Whether you like it or not, you are living. Can I reorganize you? You will die. Don't say like that because. It is bad to confess. <laughs> what? Pastor Seb confessed it for 27 years. The first wife told him, I cancel that. I cannot declare this. She died before him. If you don't have that mindset, you cannot minister outside. If you don't have that mindset, you cannot transform. I told the Lord to take over. Amen. Give me your ears. It was in the 2000. I went to Burundi. I preached the gospel. I told them I would have wanted to come back. But I don't know that I will make it. I may be going to Kampala and die. I may continue canceling it. I told them why I beat them away. It's because I'm preparing myself. Like I'm winding up. Because my time as I was coming back. I forgot about you. I, don't, I forgot the time. So I'm working, I'm winding up. I'm working so hard. Someone who wants to go back. Don't start. You never start. You never start. And you say, that year, I feel I'm going to serve the Lord. When you get that year, you continue pushing it ahead. I will serve the Lord as long as I'm alive. That year, I feel like I'm going to obey the Lord. That one time I'm going to serve, I feel it in my heart. I'm convicted in my heart. But that year, I'm going to serve. What about this year? Let me first sort out myself. Me, I don't get there. I don't know what I'm doing. The one that I have is where I do. Amen. Amen. Is it working for you? When I get hold of the night, I don't know how to do it again. I don't know how to do it again. Recently, we were in Bunankandwa. 
I tried to cut down the time. I tried to be brief because of time. I spoke for five hours. Trying to be brief. And they said he started at mid and ended at five. And yet I stopped Because I don't know that I'll go back to Bunanka and Dua. I got the crown and you said, but I feel in my heart I am going to serve God. I feel it. So just push it ahead. And he gives us more years because we are working. Amen. Amen. Hezekiah was taught to prepare his house because he was going to die. He just got on to what was going on. I don't know what you gave. If the Lord comes now, and then the angel stands before you like this. Sister Justin, prepare your house. You're going to die. What do you say to him? What do you tell him? Let, let us go out of that. Let us imagine. What is the day to day? If the Lord comes and tells you, I'm coming to pick you on Sunday, what do you do? Can I get three people? I want a response from three people. Need the mic. Just give it a random. <laughs> what do you do? I'm coming here as well. Amen. Singa, Malaika, Jana, Gandhi. If the angel comes and tells you I'm taking you on Sunday, I will tell you my no collar and guns. Guns, no way. No see you you get on guns. This is a bad no kubanga and send you kind of words. Chan to our Mugamba, you don't to Allah, what you are doing. You are doing to get it. You don't to Allah, what you are doing. Give it to another person. Bababari, <laughs> Young, what do you know? Where are you? Look at the man. Wow, I'm such a no more. Cause the man I'm going to promise in the other one. I'm a year. Since you come with church, you took up with Sandy. The answer can go more. Oh, you go for a cheap. So can you go to Praise the Lord. That exact thing that you should do. You should do it now. Do it right away. I usually ask people, and they tell me I, I repent immediately. What I do? I begin preaching the gospel. I ask them what I was supposed to do. That exact thing. Do it. You don't have any other opportunity. You don't have time. Praise the Lord. I tell people this. In a few days, when I'm born again. Just got saved recently. In 89. I got saved recently in 89. Why do I call it few days? Because before the Lord, a hundred, a thousand years. There are thousand years. It is just one day before the Lord. So get my 63 years. Compare them to the 1,000 years. 
He's just looking at my recent. <laughs> just a few seconds praise the Lord arise and begin working work because we do not have time warn so many people who got born again who will go to hell that is what they call the great warning that is where our theme comes from the great woman. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Romans 14 and verse 17. I know the Bible reader. Pastor Daisy Nassas. I'm so delighted to see you. Amen. All that hand clap. You will interpret it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What Kubango waka 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 tonda. Waka 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 tonda. Sikwe kulia no kunywa. Sikwe kulia no kunywa. Wabula. Soko komao. Ebi omusumba luere ya yoge dao. Nengando oza wiki yo neku atao. Pastor really emphasized on that and I thought the entire day. He talked about eating and drinking. And reached at the point of eating. Who sold his birthright? Just because of pottage. <laughs> And when Pastor Joshua started from there, everything was, I was uh, I was praising Jacob. When Pastor Moses came, he broke it down and completed it. I was enjoying. I don't know what is happening to those who are not enjoying. And I told you that I want to touch on this word. The kingdom of God is not about drinking but Righteousness. I'm going to talk about righteousness the entire year. The entire I'll be speaking about that. The entire Bible is filled with that. Praise Amen. be to the Lord. On Monday, I scratched a little bit. And I want to do the same. Because I wanted to take you back a little bit. Who needs the righteousness? Who is going to heaven? Among these two, who is going to heaven? He passed on yesterday at the place. And they left yesterday at the place. Their body is going to be buried tomorrow at the place. Someone left. And there is one who is going to be buried. This is where religion works the most. They emphasize on the corpse. Therefore, if I have not warned you, you may end up when you put the emphasis on the corpse. When you put the emphasis on the corpse, what am I going to talk about? Wangi. Matthew chapter 4. I'm going to read two verses. Amen. Matayo is Sulanya. Let me explain that. When Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. On Monday, I told you, there is no one who cannot be tempted. 
a reaction yongo kemedwa but your reaction when you're being tempted it shows the level where you have amounted to Jesus Christ overcame the devil because he had eaten the word everything he responded with the word we have so many believers within them there is no word we get to the pastor they can preach the entire sermon without any scripture because they even don't have the scripture such are like that when the temptation comes they backslide is I'm encouraging you start reading the Bible read the Bible read the Bible whether you understand or not if you've not understood but have read when you come to the great one in conference where you did not understand that is where we can expand in the name of Jesus Christ if you're not yet at the conference there's a pastor who is coming if they ate the word they will expand on that and you come out saying the Lord has spoken to me. Where did you find him? In the conference, the Lord has done us so well. Do you think the Lord is only at Nalufrayusi? Let me tell you. He has already responded. Uh, so the devil. Got hold on to Jesus. The Holy Spirit led him to the Lord. And then made him stop us, Took him to the mountain think about it if you're the disciple of Jesus and you see the devil leading your Lord Jesus Christ the author of salvation and you ask him Jesus where are you heading to he knows where he's taking you who is that that's the devil do you continue following him let me leave it for the rest this verse 8 that we are going to read this is what it says who is taking taking who filled the spirit those filled with the Holy Spirit can they be confused can they confuse those filled with the Holy Spirit this is what the Lord told me I was praying for this conference by this moment I feel the anointing the Lord says what do you want to do there is someone who has money. The Holy Spirit has seen it. He's on account. Even the Catholics have learned to copy those tongues. He has Harry Mary at the corner. And even in that, by the speaking in tongues. Those are questionable. They are not ashamed. I see women here. You have money on your account. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. The Lord says, Bring the money at his feet. Bring the money. It is on your account. Put the check and bring the money. Why do they target the women? Because their faith is so paramount. But first examine. Has the Holy Spirit seen that money on their account? Is there usually beans? Is there any beans on your account? Have you ever banked the beans or the 
Wali otu tebi janjalo mubanka mbu mbitekeyo. Kine kubwa ako senti. Yes, there is Kati always money. Kati sipiru nyomu ya mtu kubwa ako zoto mwere zanangamu arabia senti. It is not uncommon that the Holy Spirit has Ndaba seen money. Ndaba wa I see three people. Mujon. Come here. Muli na senti kwa account. You have money on your account. Kati ya wata fayo. For those who are careless, they come seven. The preacher has called three. They come seven in number. Mm, mm. They are some, <laughs> some more people. <laughs> they are more people. Please join them. This man of mine, this my man servant, of God. the man of God, Bring that man on his feet. Let us send one of the other. Who is leading the other? Satan is leading Jesus. Leading where? On the top of the mountain. But I'll speak about the kingdom of God. And it's righteousness. It is right. I wanted to warn a little bit. Did the Lord tell you about that yeah. man? Yes. After three years, he said, I got to know that this is the real devil. But you've got to know it when it is too late. After being getting the covenant, after being covenanted, after saying in good and bad, What should we do? That is what we call warning. We need to warn. Before you drink the water, there is some warning. When you just drink the water, you may get a little bit of it. Instead of quenching your thirst, you get sick. We have come to be warned. As the pastors, as the elders, as the marriages, school children, as believers, everyone. Let me continue. Taken to the top of the mountain. I'm about to start my gospel. Munana. 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 Ate, Sitani na Mutuara Kurusozi, Garuamu, Nyo. Simanyo over hill, over mountain, or Zungu Gambirutia. Mountain. Mountain. Exceedingly high mountain. The difference between mountain and hill are not But on my mind. Na mulaga ensi zara kabaka bona abari munsi ne chiti wachazo. So my Bible here yonga yaruzo. Matthew chapter four verse eight. Again, the devil took him up into an exceedingly high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. I'm about to start. Yes, Zona, the whole world. Jesus is being shown the entire world. The kingdoms of the whole world. Country. In Luganda Bible, when they think he was talking about the country. The kings of the entire world. He showed him all the kingdoms. Who is showing who? Amugambi atia. Amulago wa kabaka wano wachi. Obwensi meka. Zona. Tuogera kuchi wano. What are we talking about? Wa kabaka wani. The kingdom of God. I'm about to start preaching. What did he say unto him? Verse 9. Ah, ah, no, no, no. What did he say unto him? Verse 9. He said unto him. He said unto him. He said and he said unto him, All these things I'll give you if you will fall down and worship me. 
I would have told, but I don't have time. The devil gives if you only worship him. Those who worship him are not doing bad. If the kingdom is about to eat and drinking, they eat so well. There are people doing well. And yet they are not in the kingdom. Let me explain before you speak. There are two kinds of kingdoms. There is one of the devil. The devil. Look for 43. Jesus says, It necessitates for me to go in other cities to preach about the kingdom of God. Give him your ears. Look for 43. Luka esula nya Oriniruana musatu Na ye nava gamba anti Nava gamba Chingwani de okubuli de njiri Iyo waka 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 tonda Nemo bivuga Ibidala Kubanga Chichantu mya Kati njaka nava gamba I want to tell you O waka waka the kingdom that Jesus Christ is talking about Ata uvulida waka waka He's preaching it in the kingdom of the devil. Let me release my pace. 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 He has closed their eyes. Understanding everything. The devil has testified that all the kingdoms in the world belong to but Jesus within the kingdom of the devil that is he has come to preach about the kingdom of God the ones he's preaching to they already have their kingdoms how can I go through it all the kingdoms have their norms. When I was preaching, I told you every kingdom has its own righteousness. The Baganda have their kingdom. The Nyarandas have their kingdom. The Batoro have their kingdom. So all those kingdoms. I want to speak that when I'm hiding under the pulpit. All those kingdoms belong to the devil. And they have their righteousness within. And like I told you, everything has its own righteousness. This bottle has its own righteousness. If you want to drink the water, if there was a bottle of soda, there is a way they open that bottle top. If you bring the opener, you cannot use the opener to remove the bottle top of mineral water and the soda bottle you just twist the one of water <laughs> God bless you Bambi. what did I say you twist you twist if I'm opening this bottle top, I don't use the opener. What is the use of opener? But for this, I just twist and then take the water. And I take the water. And if I get a bottle of soda and I twist it by force, I may spend the whole day. 
This bottle usually has a polythene on it. If you don't take water, usually it has a starter. That is its righteousness. There's where you open it and remove it. But you can spend the entire day trying to remove the seal if you do not understand its righteousness. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Matthew 3, 13. No, Matthew 3, 13. And its righteousness. If you do not seek the righteousness oh, of the kingdom of God, of water, you can get the righteousness no of the water, of water of soda. and take it to the bottle of soda. That is where my issue oh, is. If you understand, and then I end. The norms or principles of Baganda. The Baganda have the principles of Baganda. That is the righteousness of Baganda. When you get the righteousness no of Baganda, and bring it to the righteousness e of God. The time may come and you fail to enter the kingdom of God. Even if you enter the kingdom of God, what I mean even if you go to the kingdom of God, it is possible when you are saved, but the entrance that took you in is never closed. Go and ask the ten virgins. When the bridegroom came, they went out and they were closed. Down. But when they had spent their years in the kingdom, if you understand, say amen. If you didn't understand, just wave. The righteousness of Buganda. First, put this aside. Based on what is written, Jesus was taken around all the kingdoms of the world. And it is the devil taking him around. After he told him, All that belongs to me, it was given to me. It has the glory, it has the cars, the marriage, everything that you need. What you do, bow down and worship, and I give you. Many people you admire, the ones who are wealthy. If you bow before them, they give you. I would have explained more about what she It means exceeding water and the microphone, what is heavier. If we exceed this, then I'll give you. I would have explained more on your tribe, but I don't understand it. You understand it more. The Baganda children the young girls, the young boys, they know everything that is abominable. You do this, no way. That is an abomination. What? Within the Baganda. Where is the school that teaches them? Because they are in the kingdom. They are in their kingdom. They know every abomination. If you ask them for any scripture, they don't know any abomination. Where the kingdom that we came in, the one that we are going to inherit we don't know it rushes why don't I conclude I was about to start my time with pastor let me help you out this is one of the righteousness one that I know and when a Muganda loses someone, the aunties come very fast if you're going to your husband, They tell you go and do a before everyone comes. First, pad yourself. 
Are you in your place? But go and pad yourself because your husband has passed away. Why are you doing it? That is the righteousness within that kingdom. I told you everything has its own righteousness. Some of you have failed in your marriages, failed the company, at your workplace. Even the ministry can fail. If you do not understand the righteousness within that church, you will come, go to the lunch hour, verify in the city, find so many people at the lunch hour. And he said, the Lord knew it and brought This is missing no, in our place. Lunch hour, and you take lunch hour in Busi. <laughs> this is what they call the long church. Local, local, local e church. What is here will not have work for you. Because the righteousness of that city, they are workers. And yet yours are fishermen. You put a service in the evening. <laughs> when they are going to cast their nets. And he said, This place is very dry. Pastor, Hello. Well done. <laughs> They are, they are fish, the fishermen have a special time because they are done with selling the fish they it is not the lake that is the righteousness of the place your dad is ready is only for news they wrap it up so that doesn't get dusty that is the righteousness in that home when you come to my home every child has a radio let me also turn it to you. what pastor someone who is the radio you will not stay there because you failed on their righteousness those who are asleep say amen <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord. Increase on my understanding. So that I understand the remaining minutes. In the name of Jesus. Clap those hands unto the Lord. Abaganda. The Baganda, when they lose someone, I don't know what happens at your place. When the father dies, they cut a piece of the back and remove a few. That's how they bury it. And they wrap themselves around. You even find a pastor of the church wrapping themselves with a the back cloth. What happened? This was my real dad. And that is why I'm mourning that way with a back cloth. Let me explain to you the righteousness that does the baganda. The ghosts of the one who has passed on the way it is going to keep its children it follows that wrapping that you, you find a pastor leading worship team the elder of the church wrapping themselves the back why my real dad has passed on that is a sign the Holy Spirit stay away. I'm watching the ghost of the spirit or the demon. Told you, seek the no kingdom of God and all its righteousness. So its righteousness it is like the gas that comes out of the soda bottle. When you open it up, it makes ah, that noise. So it acts as a preservative for the soda. The righteousness of the kingdom of God is what maintains those who are in the kingdom. Until when he comes and takes something. If you don't understand it, bad news for you. 
what you did at your daddy's corpse may lead you to hell. What you did at your mother's corpse can take you to hell. Because you did the righteousness. <laughs> I don't know what I should I would have explained it. At home I have a cow. I have a cow. I have a cow. I have a cow. I Everything is consumed. When you carry salt and put it in the milk, the milk will get spoiled. Why? The righteousness of the milk doesn't use salt. Amen. 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 Jesus suffered with the gospel. What does it mean to explain the kingdom of God? He went to the gardeners after and he went silent. How can I explain to them the kingdom of God? And Caesar said to them, okay, the kingdom of God, like a man who got hold of a sin, I went to sword for the roadside and they mocked yeah. because they understand the field. And then in the thorns, how can he do that? And I on the rock, and they saw a loss. And one that fell in the pattern of ground. Yes, yes, now you are talking. And they said, Jesus, so you get there. The gardeners will only understand that. When he got to the kings, and you know if he tells them about the field, they will not understand. And he saw these are local leaders and everything. The kingdom of God is like some who organizes many people and didn't come after slaughtering cows, and they were bit about it. And they sort of the cows they they that is very concerning because they understand that. So I try my level best to get into it. By the time you leave, you will have understood. If I don't talk about the fish, so the baganda. Even in the banyanko, your kingdom. The Bible has told us that Jesus took Satan to Kabaka and showed all the kingdoms of the world. So every kingdom has its righteousness. What establishes it? So ours, this is how it is established. They are clans. Within Buganda, even our king, he doesn't have a plan. I will explain that why he doesn't have. Within us, the way they can reach to us, we were clustered in departments based on our clans. So every clan has its righteousness to establish our kingdom. And every clan, they are families. There's a tribe clan and family. Someone is closing their eyes. What are we calling? There is an intercessor this there is an intercessor this side. I feel the anointing which is coming from this area. So please hold on. We shall pray all together to us once I'm done. When someone dies, Bamuzilaga is uh, cleansed traditionally in the face oh the latest children please come those who are 
time did the backcloth come? If you did these things and speaking to me, I don't want to get there and you will know, not know, you know, Because you did the righteousness of Buganda and Faith. They get onto the banana banana the shoots or whatever the banana to when you no Luganda no never Luganda and and they get the banana shoots. And then they open the corpse's face. So they let his children begin cleansing the body. What is that? It's the righteousness of the Baganda. And when they are burying, remember they have those um, and they've cleansed the body. Only the face. When someone dies, there's people coming in the outlet. That outlet. They only cleanse the face instead of the behind. I'm very stubborn and angry at the devil. I want to do only the righteousness of God. If I don't understand something, me, some of us don't I mean, and wrong without knowing. Until that we have great warning conference to tell if you did that. There's a righteousness that, that, is, in, that is not one. It is very dangerous in your journey. First I did it unknowingly. Never mind. Never mind. You did it and cleansed the body with that uh, Never mind. So when you are the burial ground, after burying, no one wants to stay behind that the spirit will come along with them. And yet there are those wrapping themselves with back cloth and laving. There is a lot of fluing from that side. So me, I remain there so that I can see the spirit. Why? There's something about the kingdom of God has its own righteousness with God said, if you don't understand the principle, you will get out smoothly and knowingly. Israel was a nation that came from Egypt, but in the promised land, only two people reached. yet it was an entire nation. What in their they, they didn't understand the righteousness that leads them to the promised land. That is why I went ahead of time. Oh Lord, open my understanding. Open my understanding so that I can understand your righteousness. In the name of Jesus. The Baganda, after burying, even if you give them a jerrican of water, they never use it. Why? They get those banana shoots. Well, do you know what that means? That they are informing the, the second child that the brother is By the end of this conference, you will never use those oh, shoots again. Chuka. That is transformation. Oh, the benefiting from the conference. Mm. I would have given you testimony. Pastor Reza. Engineer, we are happy to see you. Thank you for coming.
But my time is fast spent. Recently, my dad passed on. In 2016. Why did he die? It was cancer. He had an incision behind him. Even if you use your fist to go through, the meat was all distorted. And when they put the medication to go through the mouth, he died in a lot of pain. I was trying to get to understand about that righteousness. I was praying from Kasumi. He got a fuss of seven and seventy years. He got a food and went with them. Do you know how our home looks like? Even the poor called us poor. First time to have the electricity on because we use generator. Many people came. The evangelist preached. I never put off my shoes. Why? I have, don't know why they put off their shoes. Very careful of what I don't know. When they told us to wrap ourselves with black cloth, I know what I that is. I don't want it. If it cannot keep him, it cannot protect me too. <laughs> it can't protect him. Let him move alone. Are we together? Praise the Lord. I have my mother who passed on recently. She is a very tough woman. For her, she's not tough, but she's toughness itself. As I was going through the congregation, she asked a friend, Mama, Mama, Bonnie has not put off his shoes. Because, because he's born again, they saw the light. I'm going to show him. I had it. That he's going to teach me a lesson. They weren't speaking to her only eight no children. A wife never goes old. Everything that I've eaten I've about. I've even brought the electricity. The, the rice, rice, meat, and food. I took care of my dad for three months. They only came to bury because the corpse is expensive. And the Bible says that honor your father and mother. This is my mom. The elder of my mom, but she's called my aunt because she's not my biological mother. So how can I honor her? When she says she's going to teach me a lesson. He called me. Why do you want to teach me? and eight children they are about to begin giving birth I also came and held my chest bent towards her sir Hello. If you don't remove your shoes, at the death of your dad, when will you do it? I held my yeah, chest mama. and told her, this father, I took care of him for three months. I used all the money. I feel a lot of pain inside. Losing my dad. I can't <laughs> I can't bear walking barefooted. She didn't understand. Can I add also the pain? After having the pain, I would have told her, he's not my dad. He's no longer my dad. The one my dad left. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The righteousness. Have you ever wrapped yourself with the back cloth? If you did it before salvation, if you did it before salvation, that is why you're here. So that we let go of such things. Did you cleanse? 
Kakati, Therefore, yao, as I was there, muzika, after burying him, mutabani wange, mutabani wange my son who was supposed to be the heir. We told them we don't do final rituals. Just show us the hair. What had happened? We will not accept that. We are Baganda. His dad is the head of the family. Head of the tree. <laughs> family tree. Head of the family tree. But the whole tree. <laughs> they are stubbornly. <laughs> they are As I was there, they came morning. Walking with the disease. Walking with the disease. How can you bring my daddy's cancer Do to to not, to not bring what killed him. Where are you bringing the disease? Please go back. They never showed us the hair. And then I told him he's no longer my dad. He, he never came back. Find my dad. Are we together? You feel chasing out of the land. We have so many in the kingdom. But the different norms can fail you to go and that is why we are here. Warning. That is why we are here. And then I teach you how we are going to pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As I, they called me. Ah, Bonnie. Bonnie. They never honor any pastor. Apart from when you are a reverend father. Bonnie. Apart from when you are a reverend father. Bonnie. Bonnie. Why are you moving the disease? He passed on already. And to know who we have to do the final rights. Where are we the, the have you forgotten that person? Why are you doing it? I imagine <laughs> them exploding <laughs> the cancer <laughs> to us. And explode it. Do not explode it. We will not do it. Just show us the hair and you refuse. So continue with your rights. Ladies and gentlemen, as the region came here in Uganda, they found us taking our post. And they told one group never take post. And they gave them the assignment to slaughter all the cows. And we accept it. Slow but sure when, when we, we understand understand that we will not do the final rights. We can do the final rights if it is us taking in charge. Amen. There is food that they, they step on. A whole lot of food. Some of us don't wrap it. it. I cannot eat that. I can never eat such food. When I have my own wife. I come fully when I eat it. Amen. As you love that kind of food, there's one that step on. There's that kind of meat they fight for. So many things happen. So I would give you wisdom. Device all means. Make sure you don't do any activities. Because you're already in another righteous state. Imagine. If you tell us you're Muganda, do you know hey, how to dance? Yes. Okay, come and dance. They wrap you and then begin dancing to your They even ask, are we on the same page with them? If you dance the back, you're already off the page. How do I wind up? 
What did you do and you remember <inaudible> it? Among the things I've talked about. This meat is for the bajwa. They even steal it from somewhere. Do you know why you take paraffin for the kasuze katia? <laughs> they were bringing it in my household. My son Deo. We are bringing kasuze katia. What is that? What are you asking? That there is a jerry. Yes. We use electricity. We don't need paraffin. Do not bring paraffin. That it is good. Do not bring it. Do not bring it. I don't want the paraffin. Why? Because the baganda. They have four groups. There is one group. The one called the true Baganda. <laughs> the Baganda Gere Gere. Mm. They, come, they came barefoot. Because they came walking. And they are those Baganda. The ones called Baganda Wau. Baganda Wau. Baganda wau. They come hunting the ants. There is Baganda Nakabala. They come preparing the gardens. And there are those Baganda. They kaswa. They also get the ants. There are four different groups. And they never get it. And there was one I wise one. I said, why can't we get together? Come here. Come here. And brought the unity. Eh, that is why the council has four things. Each one has its meaning. I'm laying the foundation of that righteousness. There is a clan. A, 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 a group. There is a group. They sacrifice their firstborn child. They sacrifice their child. We will not accept that. Which child do you sacrifice? Can you give us a certain kind of blood? If it is a first girl child, they sacrifice. Let us clean it a bit. When a girl child goes into the church, get the first part. Then we would have gotten that blood. You just take it when they ask you. You take it somewhere. Am I giving you wisdom? <laughs> Did they do it to you? So what about this Among these four groups, they still wives. But yeah, how? The young man comes. I want that girl. How many cows do you want? Five of them. That girl. That's what I want. Nancha. Nancha. Go to the well. Go to the well. The men are the men. They steal the girl. She makes noise. And they take her. That is how they are. And then they bring the cows to the dad. So they steal the dad. Oh, this child is still. So it's good. You bring Jerry Kanopara. 
Fight and then get into the house. Instead of carrying her, like your phone. That is where the origin of Kasuze Katia. This is their thing. When it is a thing. If Jitu exists, the Muslims got to make a fight. Where was Kintu buried? Who knows his graveyard? For those who are learning, had his wife Nambi. Baganda. Were they Baganda? Bajipiri. Barabongo. Bongos. The Baganda own cows. It is their thing that is combined. In those norms, every kingdom has its spirits. The kingdom of heaven, it doesn't have spirits. It has the, spirit. the Holy Spirit. If you keep quiet because I am done, and there is a norm or principle that you got into, all of us let us rise on our feet. The righteousness of God. You cannot sleep with a wife. The God. In the righteousness of God, there is tithing, offering, and seed. In the righteousness of God, is fighting with your character, anger, bitterness, and pride. In the righteousness of God, avoiding homosexuality stealing. I've not yet gone there if the Lord gives me grace then I'll get to that every time you lie just know that you've broken the righteousness of God every time you abuse you've broken the righteousness of God any time you don't give time you've broken down the righteousness of God the righteousness of God is so much Isaiah 54, 14. In righteousness shall you be established. Why aren't you established? My sister, why aren't you established? The somewhere that no you will And then you enter, you allow the other kingdom to come in. Yeah, I gave you a testimony when I bought a cow. It was very expensive and giving 20 liters of milk. When they brought it, it was giving us 8 liters. And the liters went dropping down. And then it stopped producing milk. I did not first find the righteousness of this cow. How much water do they give it? Which kind of grass and how much grass do you give it? I can give you my car. If you don't find out it's righteousness, it takes petrol. If you give diesel, the engine breaks down. That is also paraffin, fuel. 
But there's a kind of fuel that it uses. The kingdom of God in which you came in, it has no, there's no pride, there is no theft, there is no lying. Young girls, you can lie. Even your parents do not know what you are doing. You even told your husband you lost someone. Say, oh Lord, pass me not by. Pass me not by. If you have a people that you've come to encounter, here I am. Forgive me, Lord. Indeed, I don't do it. Indeed, when I, I lost a little I did many things without knowledge. Forgive me, oh Lord. I'm not going to do all those cleansing. I'm not going to dig the graveyard. If it is cleaning I will do it individually. Not as a plan. I will not do those gatherings. Because of the things that So much that there is. I'm getting saved today. I'm getting saved today. I'm getting saved again. I will not do those activities again. The ones of a king. Of any other king. As you, someone told me. In one of the norms of the kingdom of Buganda. The king of Uganda never carries infants. He never goes to jubilations. But the one that we have, he went to the jubilations. That he was so joyous and has a lot of freedom and carries infants. But in the norms of the kingdom of Uganda, he's not permitted to do so. Because he's a king. He fell sick recently. And Google said. He was not poisoned. Our king was never poisoned. But he's, somewhere he went wrong. He went wrong in some of the norms. He's sick because he failed on the righteousness of Uganda. It is Google that said it. Do not ask me for details. It is Google that said it. So when you think, don't you think that there are some diseases that you brought? And it is out of getting out of the norms. The level you are and the time you've spent in salvation. Don't you think it is the crowd of angels that will be working with you? Is that the way that we walk in that kingdom? You easily get angry. And then when we get angry, we make wrong decisions. You make easily wrong decisions. Do you think that is how the kingdom of God operates? Oh, there is another kingdom that you are working with. Someone testified and said that the other kingdoms in the I'm the one who moves. What they do is to worship me. He gives you anger and tells you to get angry. You'll be worshipping me. Just fornicate. You'll be worshipping me. Just go so sorry. You'll be worshipping me. Just room among our lords. You'll be done. When you worship me, I give you business. Put a lot of lies in your business. Lie to the one, your buyers. Musubuzi. Machendaizo. Musubuzi. Businessman. Minzani ya obulimba eri muduka alio. Is that weighing scale that is not balanced in your shop? Wanseri yola babandi. Is there a rubber band under your weighing scale? Omu tuwa inzo kuja muduka alio. Can someone come to your shop? Na sanga nga minzani tekuli jinjo wate kuli kwa kakawe kakawa. And find that your weighing machine is not balanced. Bojija kevi nsubio na minzani ya balancing. When you remove everything does it balance? That is why I just go address. 
That is why when you call unto me, I don't answer. Because it is written, the hand of God is on you. But your unrighteousness has separated me. I want you to take some time and tell the Lord, pass me not by. Cleanse me with your blood. Please forgive me. You can kneel down. You can stand. You can close your eyes and say, Lord, I've remembered. I've I've not talked about the other tribes. Why? 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 Why does it have all those things? Why does your make up abominations? When you take it like this, you have messed up. You cannot use a fork to eat alone because you have abominated it. Go ahead. Abantu bano bonna tuli mu maso go ai mukama wange nga twachizudde nga tulemeddu okutambulya mu butu kirivu bwo obwaka baka we wawo twabu yingira bwe twalo koka ai mukama twayingira obwaka baka nietu chizudde ai mukama nga tuli no bulombo lombo obwawu kana ate no butu kirivu kale muri mu ebi mpc nnungi byote tubikutteko nga gomesi sikuono na okwesi babu suti sikuono na nie wali wo bietu kakasiriza dalala nge byo biliko omoye mabega wago tuze maso go ai mukama wange tuze maso go nga nsabyo tusa sire tuze maso go nga twagala kusonyirwa tuze maso go ai mukama nange nzize ne chibina chino nange nzize na abantu bano bonna mukama wange twasobyanga twanjula twasobyanga tuzika twakola ai mukama katone bitasanya enjolo twakola bingi nyo munange tata bwe tubadenga tuzimba amayunga bwagafe amayumba tugasalide nkoko abamu tusaze mbuzi abala tusadda se tuli ne bintu bingi byetukoze nga tetwebuziza yensonga lwacho omoyo mutukuvo tuvuddeko yensonga lwacho omoyo mutukuvo tulesewo ne tukweta gokomewo tukweta gokomewo mukama wange tukweta gokomewo lwachi kubanga tumalili de teri agenda kudayo chikola teri ajja kuzimba nyumba ataji salire nkoko we wawo jensura mutu aji salira we wawo twajja salira twajji salira twajji salira olukungana runo lwali tetunna tuka twali tetunna labulwa yensonga lwachi nzize masoko nganga mansasira nganga mba mukama nsaba kunsonywa ngamba nange nzize masogo tata bingi bye nakola mukama wange waliwo ai mukama wetu gendo kulima amalalu ne tugamba mu bajjajja mutukume ne tugamba nti bajjajja mutukume omunyo we gutuyika ko twewanda ka malusu tukoze ebintu bingi nye byo muzizo tukoze ebintu bingi nyo yensonga lwachi we sambya watukuvu kiri eri mwezeke ye sule omunana mukama yali agamba ezekeri jangola be lwachi ne sambya watukuvu wange jangola be lwachi ne sambya nyumba yange abantu bano labye be bakola olaba be bakolere ka wawe olaba be bakolera munzikiza olaba be bagamba mukatonda yaleke nsika tonda tatulaba babikolera munzikiza balimbira munzikiza bendera munzikiza babira munzikiza bara bandange baroza nange nzikiza yange ne bamala ne bawanike emikono ne bangamba mubali mu maso gange ne bankola mbu mperezo moyo mutukuvu nange ene ne samba tata tuze maso go mukama tuze mu ruko kungano ruko labulo kunene kisobokera dalo kubanga olokose kisobokera dalo kubanga oweleza mukama kisabokera dalo kubanga oyole okoworo moyo mutukuvu nakka ne concerning about entering the kingdom of god na gana fetu yagala kuyingira na abantu ya mataye sule yo musambu olunyo lwabiri mu bibiri na abagamu vewendi mwali kolanga na inga mu bikola no bujemu mwakolanga obutukiri buwe bikabya mwe mwakolanga obutukiri bwo bwakabaka bwo munseyo atenga nange nino obutukiri bwange bwagala siganyo weleza mukama na mafuta sina yengo mukyala wasoka kumwe bakako na yenga ate wakola ononga wa kubira ononga wanga wa kusatu ne yengo lina bo kolokoteyo mumbozi yo kusimu ngoli na abantu bovuma ngoli na abantu bole mesezo obulokozi tuze maso go mukama wange nga twatula obutali butukirivu wa fefena twatula ai mukama wange twatula nkusabye busabi ne nenyeza ai mukama wange ne nenyeza katonda we golu nensi ne nenya kulwange na abana bange ne nenya kulwa muchara wange munange ne nenya ai mukama wange dada kulwa abana bange ne nenya kulwe chisibo chino chensumba bingi byesinda bagambanga bingi byesibagambye ai mukama na yemisegejo ne 
jijia ya mabere na misege jijia ya mabere okuyon sabana bajo nefabana bobu akabaka mchifo choku badabula mchifo choku badabula tu watide mbu badja genda tu watide mbu badja genda ne tutio badabula ne bamalina ne bagenda baba yon sama baere gembwa ne baba yon sama baere gemi sege ne baba yon sama baere gemi sode ne baba yon sama baere gembo go ne baba kuma unga batanku ufunyo ne baba yon sama baere gembo zi ne baba kuma unga batanku ufunyo mukama nkwe gairide nkwe gairide tuwe vudemo ay mukama tumalidi doku ogera tumalidi doku tereze chisiro tumalidi doku kebera kwa expiring date tumalidi doku gendera kunda giriro waliwa tv nyingi nyo teziri nabu pesa teziri nabu pesa wona neba kula giria okwa atakato na kukama tidira kebe eno jiteke wali kakati nyigawa no kwa ataka na kanto jitunuze mwo nyigebo oti manyu tetu jitunula angako manyu ya tv tetu jitunula angako netu wagala tubiye netu wagala tubiye netu wagala tubiye tubiza nene tutafutaskidi nga sisaksidi nze mukama gena maso gena maso mbozi yo wakati wone mukama kuno kwero ngosa abamwe chigendo kuongeza ye chisanja kubango otu kiride e kalenda ye wade nete lo kugwako nge bibibyo bipairi nze bijude nyomu maso ga mukama nienga bambi butamanya ye nzonga wachi mukama akulese bichibi obu uliri yomu ano kukoro obu wala bichibi obu uliri yomu ano obu lenzo kukora Mbuo musajja abase gwanga simanye sajjalata mwana wange botuka ngo kusajjalata kitegeza kubana bachara banji emburi ya jobuli ya mu mwana ngaya kumuono na gundigwe ngo musize mu obuchi ayibunji nyo mukama tuli mu masogo nene nyakuru wange ngo mukurembeze nene nyakuru echi sibo ayi mukama wange nene nyakuru abawereza bempereza nabo nene nyakuru echi sibina chino mukama wange Nene nyakuru wa mazima getu tayo gede Ena kuzetuli mumbi Habana bafebana haba obatia Omure mbenga kuono onesenyo Chijia chitia La ubeni okulinye chitia nda cha chitawe Katonda wa isa kata ya murina Katonda wa ibu daimu tayariwo Yakobo, abana bano wababu uliri lako Wabatu za kono wabagamba buoti Duacho nyiga Yakobo kubango umukazi Umule nzagi, yeba seku mama we Nga teto chimugamba, nga toji ochiraga Habana bakuze babamba avunyo Tubaleke do umule mbe Mukama sasira Mukama sasira kuru habana Mukama tusonye kuru habana bafe Mukama tusasire kuru habana bange Mukama sasira kuru habana banga bomoyo Sasi na besi na mude ayi mukama Nemba tenseba gunjule Nemba tenseba gabule Chiri wakati wone mukama. Obutu kirivu wa weri jetu hafa. Angabo tu sinzo kola kenyo. Yesu alinobu waka waka watu jamu. Atulete mbu waka waka wene. Inga tetu wali tu nyiki denyo. Tuwa nyiki denyo waka waka weno. Netumaliri zango, butu ukirivu wafe. Barumi sule kumi oruo kusatu. Mwebake za koku koro butu ukirivu wabwe. Ateva amaliza teva gondede butu ukirivu wakatonda. Kumanga wale tuwa butu ukirivu wabwe. Bobe njini bakoro butu ukirivu wakatonda. Neva maliza zango butu wakatonda. Babu ono nye. Tribalism mwevawa. Mwebu wanga sibu lombo lombo. Wachite tuva agarabo. Mbwanti hapo bagwanga gundi. Ii, 
eno jetuwa jia chichechi tusosora anti abo wakola buwe bati teba aso mese wakule kabutu ukiri wabika abya abwe gule tuoni ingi mukama wange tuzo kuraburua tuze kuraburua abalabura na fetu agala turaburue akalira ko mwana wo kalina i mean ka ambrico code waloko kana yo kalina lwacho katereka nyo kugenda kako zaachi aba mu mwalo ko kana yero mwana omara genda bo muzalo genda ne bamubatiza mu dini kubanga abo mwana wange te bamubatiza anga kamutwale elifaza Amaromu, amaromu, amaromu batiza nko meweno Wali omu ntuko enja gado kusaba kona ye Ngatu maliriza wali omu enja gado kusaba kona ye As I wind up I want to pray with someone Ojuki li dedala You've remembered indeed. Okubye omufoyo goba dorota okumale banga dene. You've destroyed that dead person. Bakuba bwa janga mu ocho muliro. You've been sending Na fire. Na yebya abafunga bya ngabi kwesibiye ko. Ebiroto bya abafunga bya kwesibiye ko. Boba waziraga. Boba wesiba kufuvu. <laughs> 